Have you ever wanted to have your own taxi? Have you ever wanted to go to space? Ever wanted to know what would happen if you mix a game about taxis with uh, the arcade game Lunar Lander? The answer to these questions will be revealed actually after the intro because the game today is, as you can probably tell, Space Taxi. As I mentioned in the intro, Space Taxi is basically the love child of uh, a taxi themed game with uh, Lunar Lander. It's an arcade game, obviously, since its main inspiration, after all, is Lunar Lander. I only repeat that game name so much so that me recording the footage of it is uh, well so in space taxi you portray a taxi driver in the far and distant future of uh, the 23rd century hey, at least they didn't assume that by the year 2000 or so we'd all be traveling with jetpacks and hover cars in each screen which all have different themes and therefore different obstacles uh, you have to transfer passengers from one of the numbered platforms to another one don't be surprised if the Commodore 64 suddenly says to you because this was the main gimmick of the game basically aside from the flying around uh, it incorporated speech samples where you can hear the customer make demands or hail the cab. When a customer has called for you, uh, please land on the platform and extend your landing gear before you do that. Uh, you do so by pressing fire. You retract your landing gear, your landing skid or whatever the manual calls it, uh, the same way. Don't land on a customer because then he'll go away, he'll fall over. If you've picked up someone, you'll hear where they want to go. And it'll be also written down on the screen, just so you can't miss your destination. When the screen is completed, that is when enough passengers have been transferred between platforms, your passenger will ask you to go up, please. And there will be an opening in the top border of the screen. Now, every customer you bring to their uh, destination, they bring you five bucks if they're from the same level. If it's the one who comes from the previous level, well, that one gives you ten. Knocking a customer over by hitting them with your landing gear, that'll cost you ten bucks. In addition to all that, you need to keep an eye on your fuel gauge. If you run out of gas, You'll crash, so uh, make sure you refuel at the gas station platforms marked with an F. Unfortunately, gas isn't free in this game, so you'll have to pay out of your pocket. You have multiple options when you start. You can either pick the uh, early morning shift, which is easy and consists of 8 levels. Then there's the intermediate day shift which is also 8 levels long and then there's the 8 expert levels of the night shift. You can also choose to play all 24 levels in a row or in a random order. Now if you play all 24 levels in order and beat them in one sitting, there's a hidden level. The 25th level called Muse World. 
That level is obviously named after the game's publisher, Muse Software. It contains characters from three other Muse games, namely a robot from their game Robot War, an ambulance from the game Rescue Squad, and a character from their Wolfenstein game, complete with his swastika. And there's some kind of instruction on the bottom which unlocks... Uh, I'm not going to spoil the secrets over here. While the graphics of Space Sexy are not really that awesome, uh, the game concept still holds up. So that is why you can often find this game at retro booths at uh, gaming expos. For example at the Gamescom in Cologne. The game also inspired a bunch of clones and in 2004, 20 years after the release of the original, Space Taxi got a proper sequel, Space Taxi 2. Well, in two weeks I'll be talking about a farming simulation of some sort. Um, it's called the Gricola.